What up? This is Jedi Steve. I just gave her a, a ride to a passenger in a chance meeting in my Uber. And it turns out that this guy was was a physician. He was a heart doctor. And he specialized in, in, in um, transplants. So I asked him a question. I said, take away the concept. Take away uh, just the theory of it. But do you think there any there is anything scientific to follow your heart <laughs> and i didn't i don't know if i asked the question that smooth the first time <laughs> we're assuming that was smooth and he told me the story about this lady that got a heart transplant and the family had met with this lady that got their son's heart and it turns out that she started once she got the heart transplant she started eating skittle, skittles just like the guy that had the heart originally so she started craving a candy based on the heart transplant. She started craving this candy. And he told me and he informed me that there are many, many, many stories out there like this. She was craving something that she never craved and she didn't know about it. And the reason why they found this out is when they got together, the families, when the two families had gotten together, um, they brought some Starburst. The mom brought some Starburst for the son that was the donor of this heart. And I may have said, it, it, was, it, was, it was Starburst. I may have said Skittles at some point. So they just brought her along and the, lady, the old lady said, oh, that's pretty interesting. In the last two weeks, I've been really craving those, something that she was not totally, totally unaware of, but it was just not in her consciousness of, of wanting. So what does your heart crave? I know this is a simple thing for candy, but what type of stuff, what type of energies, what type of situations does your, does your heart crave? What type of connections are, are, because I believe your, your, your heart is metaphysically or physically or just a theory, I believe your heart is a, is a thing. And it was a ma is a magnet, and it's an electrical magnet, and it attracts situations. What if we could harness that power to create, not the life that our parents not want, the life that society wants for us, the life that our friends want for us, that we crave? What type of life do you crave? What do you crave in your lifetime? I hope, you, I hope this was valuable to you. It was valuable to me. Peace.